Barrett. Hi, this is Jim Barrett from RJL Futures, Monday uh, the 16th. All right, here we are in the second half of July already. Notes and bonds higher over the weekend. Uh, uh, basically, uh, Chinese Prime Minister was saying uh, he wasn't sure when, when their growth would rebound. Uh, higher uh, Spanish yields, I think the yields were somewhere like 666. Uh, uh, soft start to U.S. Uh, earnings season. And there's plenty of macro reasons for uh, for this. Uh, some interesting technical levels breached. I, the tenure uh, notes made new contract highs, 135 uh, and a half tick. Uh, previous high, I believe, was 134, 30 and a half. So they didn't make them by a lot. But uh, as a new low yield, uh, the cash yield uh, 144. I believe the previous low was 145, 146. Uh, so you know this slow motion. Uh, 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 rally in the note and bond prices and uh, and uh, working to carve our new year, uh, new low yields continues uh, all the macro reasons uh, are there you know uh, how much is already priced in uh, it's tough to say I mean I, I expect the slow and steady grind up to continue uh, the 30-year yield I didn't mention that uh, 252 on the lows today so the, you know there's gonna be a little uh, that big even number, two and a half, may be tough. And, and since uh, S&Ps have managed to uh, bounce off a lower start, not that they're uh, much higher, but uh, holding on a little surprisingly to most of Friday's big gains in the S&P may put a damper on the notes and bonds the, the rest of the day. Tomorrow, Bernanke uh, appears in front of the Senate, so that may be important. Uh, and uh, that's it for now. I, I, I could be reached at 800-500-2461 to discuss any commodity futures market. Have a good trading day. Remember, uh, uh, future, there's a risk of loss in futures trading. It's not for everyone. Thank you.